हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स वी आर स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी पाइथागोरस थेरम प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑल ऑफ यू स्टडी पाइथागोरस थेरम एंड सम्स रिलेटेड टू इट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट डू यू नो देर आर सम नंबर्स नोन एज अ पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट्स फेल What characteristic do they possess? Let us see. Consider this number, say थ्री and फोर Let us square them. You can see that थ्री and फोर consecutive and both are positive. Now, let us square these numbers. What do you get? थ्री square is नाइन That is थ्री into थ्री फोर square is फोर Into four sixteen, and let us add these numbers. What will you get? Nine plus sixteen gives us twenty-five. Now you know that any number can be expressed as a product of prime numbers or prime factor. How can we express twenty-five? You can be expressed as five into five. Now. Five into five represents something that is five square. So, what do you think the three square plus four square gives us actually five square? We can say that the numbers three, four, and five have a relation among them. It is actually the collection of numbers. Three, four, and five is called the Pythagorean triplet. Here. Refers to these numbers, three square plus four square gives us five square. This relation among these numbers is called Pythagorean triplet. From this, we can say that the square of the biggest number five is equal to the sum of the square of the other two numbers, that is, three and four. Using this, we can say that. If in a triplet of natural numbers the square of the biggest number is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two numbers, then the three numbers form a Pythagorean triplet. If the length of the sides of the triangles form such a triplet, then the triangle is a right angle triangle. Now let us solve sums related to it from practice set forty nine. Question number one. Find the Pythagorean triplet from among the following sets of numbers. Here we are given sub question, and in each sub question we are given three sets of numbers, and we have to check whether they form Pythagorean triplet or yeah, not. Let us solve one by one. Sub number one, two, four, and five. First set of number we have given the numbers two, four, and five. Our first step is that to write down the square solution. Two square is equal to four. Four square is equal to sixty, and five square is equal to twenty-five. Second step is add the square of the smaller numbers. Which two number we shall add? Is four. And sixty, but four plus sixty is not equal to twenty-five. Here, equal to sign and one slash means not equal to. We write therefore two square plus four square is not equal to five square. So we write therefore two four and five is not a Pythagorean triplet. In second sub question. We have given the number four, five, and six. Just like a first sum, in this sum also, first we have to find the square of the given numbers. Let us find the solution. Four square sixty, five square twenty-five, six square thirty-six. Let us add the square of the smaller number. Sixty plus twenty-five. Is not equal to thirty-six. Sixteen 
प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन नॉट इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स यू कैन राइट लाइक दैट वे अल्सो या यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस वे अल्सो सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव नॉट इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स फ्रॉम दिस वे राइट टेर फोर फोर स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव स्क्वेर इज नॉट इक्वल टू सिक्स स्क्वेर सो वे राइट टेर फोर फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स इज नॉट अ पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट सब नंबर थ्री नाइन फोर्टी फोर्टी वन इन दिस सब क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन द नंबर नाइन फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी वन आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट फाइंड आउट द स्क्वेर ऑफ द गिवन नंबर्स सोल्यूशन वी राइट नाइन स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू एटी वन फोर्टी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी वन स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड एटी वन Our second step is to add the square of the smaller numbers. Here, smaller numbers are nine and forty, and their squares are eighty-one and one thousand six hundred. So we write eighty-one plus one thousand six hundred is equal to one thousand six hundred and eighty-one. And you can see addition of both the squares. is same as the square of the 41 which is 1681 we write therefore 9 square plus 40 square is equal to 41 square therefore 9 40 and 41 is a pythagorean triplet in this sum simply by writing the square of the given numbers and by doing the addition of the square of the smaller number comparing that addition with the square of the bigger number we get the pythagorean triplet question number 2 the sides of some triangles are given below find out which ones are right angled triangle before this if we know the angles we can say that it is a right angled triangle or not but now we have given the sides of the triangle and by looking at the sides how to detect whether it is right angle triangle or not yes we can do it by the use of pythagorean triplets just like a first question here also we have to first identify the given triplets are pythagorean triplets or not if they are pythagorean triplets then it is a right angle triangle by using this we are going to solve the sub question below Let us solve one by one. So question one, eight, fifteen, seventy. Here we are given the numbers eight, fifteen, and seventy, and our first step is to find the square of the given number. Solution: eight square is equal to sixty-four. Fifteen square is equal to two hundred and twenty-five, and seventeen square is equal to two hundred and eighty-nine. and our second step is add the squares of the smaller numbers now we add 64 plus 225 is equal to 289 you can see 17 square is equal to 289 and addition of 64 plus 225 is also 289 we write therefore 8 square plus 15 square Is equal to seventeen square. So we write. Therefore, the above expression is of the form hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. And we know that it is a statement of Pythagoras' theorem. Hypotenuse square, which is seventeen square, is equal to base square eight square plus height square fifteen square. We write. Therefore, the sides of a line eight, fifteen, and seventeen will form a right angle triangle. Sub so question two, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Just like a first sub question, we will have to find the square of the given number first. Solution: eleven square is equal to one hundred and twenty-one. Twelve square is equal to one hundred and forty-four, and fifteen square. Is equal to two hundred and twenty-five. Now let us add the squares of the smaller number. 
which two numbers we shall add? S. 121 plus 144. But 121 plus 144 is not equal to 225. We write, therefore, 11 square plus 12 square is not equal to 15 square. So, we can say, therefore, the above expression is not of the form. Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. That is, hypotenuse 15 square is not equal to base 11 square plus height 12 square. We write, therefore, the sides of a length 11, 12, 50 will not form a right angled triangle. Sub question 3 1.5, 1.6, and 1.7. Solution In this sub question, first we will find the square of the given numbers. We write 1.5 square is equal to 2.25, 1.6 square is equal to 2.56 and 1.7 square is equal to 2.89. Now add the square of smaller number which are 2.25 and 2.56. But 2.25 plus 2.56 is not equal to 2.89. It means addition of the square of the two smaller side is not equal to the square of the bigger side. So we write the statement Therefore, the above expression is not of the form hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. It means hypotenuse 1.7 square is not equal to base 1.5 square plus height 1.6 square. From this, we can say that therefore the sides of a line 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 will not form a right angle triangle. Here we complete the chapter number 13, Pythagoras theorem. Next lecture we will start the new chapter.